lost a loved one to COVID-19. Our jobs and our health. The disease since its outbreak eight weeks ago. Are we going places, into lockdown? Places like there Shumar. are a few things to consider. With the numbers increasing, it's posing risks to New South Wales. <laughs> It starts with a fever followed by a dry cough. It can then lead to a shortness of breath. Uh oh. Have you heard about that new coronavirus thing? Yeah. Pretty scary, huh? Yeah. Eh, there's nothing much to worry about. understanding of COVID is that it was it was found in China and it was a virus. Did you take COVID-19 seriously? No, I thought it would um, end quickly. I didn't think of it as anything that would really affect me or anyone around me. I thought it was a joke because everyone was holding toilet paper. I was a bit surprised but I really wanted to keep following up on the news. I wasn't happy. I wasn't allowed outside. It was weird at first, but like, you know, you, you have to do it and go used to it. I thought about how time spent alone in between online classes could have been time where memories were made with my friends. Uh, I originally thought that it wouldn't last as long as it actually did, and I didn't think it was going to be as serious as it actually is. I did feel a bit worried and concerned about how the deaths and the infections were going up every single day. I thought it was just a uh, sickness. I didn't think it would be that big. My understanding of COVID was that it wasn't going to be much of a virus. I thought it was going to be over in like four months and we would get back to our normal life. I just couldn't see my friends in real life, but I would still play games with them and interact with them online. I can't learn online. At first I didn't feel anything, but then it gradually became annoying. I didn't really like the lockdown because it kind of constricted me to my own house. I felt good because I was relaxing and I could sleep in and school was easier. FaceTimed my cousins to play with so I'm not as bored. I didn't go out. Not because I'm antisocial, just because, you know, quarantine. I felt great when I was in lockdown because I got to relax. Uh, pretty good. I got to play my PlayStation most of the time. I felt good because I had a break. All I did every day was stay home and play games. Uh, before COVID, I could go out, play soccer, sleep over at my friend's house, and now I'm just stuck at home. I missed going out to the park, playing soccer, meeting up with my friends. It's made me more distant. I felt isolated and it was pretty scary and it was very hard to cope with. Being in one space with like my whole family, it was 
kind of annoying and like we got in each other's nerves and it just wasn't great it was very bad for me mentally well, my worry is that, that either that my close one will catch uh, the corona or that i would never get to see them again i was thought about me losing my grandparents because they were getting close to the age where covid would kill you We can have some fun. Hey, baby, chills. Self-again, chills. Clean and polish everything. Then we can have some fun. 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 A dark shadow concealed the light from the sun like a filter. My uncle once suffocated a bunch of rats who fell into the can. He poured water into it and drowned them. They slither side to side. Their tongue is as black as the midnight sky. Every time I get on a plane, I try to think to myself that the plane won't crash, but it just doesn't work. I start imagining a dark figure chasing me. Your mind doesn't listen to you when you say stop. It feels like I'm drowning. I wish he prioritised my mental health before my studies. I fear being forgotten by close friends and family. You can't move forward if you hold on to the past. My fears come and go. I fear losing someone close to me, since I won't ever be able to see them again after that horrible day they fall. Losing my family would be a big thing because they care about me and I care about them. No one wants to hear the things that you can't fix in 10 seconds. Will I finally be happy and not suffering alone? I'm not so worried about heights that I am a falling. I fear being forgotten. Breathing in, hold it, one, two, three, and breathe out. I learned we have to work all together. Everyone is, is have responsibility to do his part. Stay calm, stay positive, uh, keep themselves fit. Taking this opportunity to learn new skills or discover new interests. I support people during lockdown by keeping in touch with them by making sure they're okay through this tough time. If you're emotionally unstable, stressed, etc., you can always talk to your fam family member, friends, or therapist and counsellor. It is okay to ask for help. Spend your time with your family wisely. Split the work into small achievable goals. The importance of hygiene, especially during the pandemic. Keep your mental state good. Try exercises, like breathing exercises to calm myself down. You should appreciate the time you spend with family and friends. So just a bit of patience, a bit of understanding, um, you know, a bit of kindness. So yeah, that could go a long way. So yeah, just remembering that, you know, we're all in this together. You got you, man. Here, I'll throw it. Hopefully, it gets to you. Alright, thanks.
this was an interesting journey. 2020 has been a rough year for all of us and well my COVID experience and what I can take from it is to enjoy and be more grateful for the company I have. I feel like I've grown so much from it because it's like you stay at home and you have nothing to do but like really you can do anything at home. Well, I have uh, been eating more healthier things so I've been uh, maintaining my body strength, I've been working out. Never do tomorrow what can be done today because procrastination is the theme of time and that's something I'll try to live life by. I have grown by learning how to appreciate the outside world and be grateful for how I am living every day without taking it for granted. By learning to self-reflect more and also learning how to talk to my friends online more consistently. And I really hope that we learn from our past mistakes and look after ourselves better. My hopes for the future is that we will find a cure and uh, save everyone from COVID-19. My hope for the future is being able to study civil engineering in university and successfully find a job I am interested in. I think the world would be so much better without forms of discrimination such as sexism and racism. For myself, my family and friends, I just hope we get along better in the future and appreciate the time we spend with each other. My hope for the world is that from this chaotic year, we can learn the biggest life lesson and we learn from our mistakes and past. My hope for the future is that the world evolves and gradually become a better place for us.